touched on it. Oh, my Lord, you are a complete freak. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, it helped the cause of gay people all over the United States. And uh, we never set out to do that. We set out to do a funny show which uh, happens to have a cast that has two gay members in it. It was so funny that you couldn't resist watching it. So the gay issue became, you know, non-existent. I used to drive carpool on Thursdays when I was doing Will and Grace with my uh, 12-year-old daughter and her 13-year-old friends, they would drive, and invariably, I drove, I drove on Thursday, invariably they would get in the car and they would say to me, what's on Will and Grace tonight? So I knew that the younger generation was watching the show and okay with the show and there was no gay stigma. Well, they were all great, but I got the chance to work with Sidney Pollack who was a famous director, unfortunately he passed away, who played Will's dad. I, I guess he was my favorite. I had, you know, I, Glenn Close was on, and Michael Douglas, everybody at that, at one point or another, in the third or fourth years wanted to be on that show because it was, it was at the top then. We tried to use euphemisms because euphemisms are much funnier than the actual word. You can go back and listen to Karen talk about anatomy parts and they're some of the greatest euphemisms in the world and they, they tend to be funny because they're not shocking. 